Dissolve 3 drops of the unknown in 2 mLs into the test tube. <laughs> Add 1 ml of sodium hydroxide. That's a real That's why I think Drop by drop, add iodine reagent until the brown iodine color precipitates after shaking. <laughs> If no yellow precipitate appears, place the test tube in a 60 degree Celsius water bath and add more iodine reagent as necessary until the brown color remains after at least two minutes of heating. <laughs> On note number two, we'll be adding one drop to the test tube. One ml of ethanol. <laughs> Two MLs of DNPA. Um, <laughs> All right, so we have orange precipitate, which this is a keto. Three drops of the unknown in the test tube with two mLs of water. Add 1 ml of sodium hydroxide. <laughs> and drop by drop, add the iodine reagent until the brown iodine color precipitates after shaking. <laughs> So it precipitates, meaning that this unknown is a ketone. We will be adding one drop of the unknown. Yeah, already put it in. One ML. It, like, I put like three drops in it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Did you get a film of everything? Yep. Yeah, yeah okay. we're filming it. Alright, this is what we're looking for. Here's Two MLs of DNPH. I feel like you need this too, probably. Okay, cool. so yeah, that's why I wanted to do this one. Wow. This is like some So now we have a precipitate, and what is that? So for this one, since we have a red precipitate that concludes this unknown is an aldehyde. All right. Add one ml of the unknown to the test tube. <laughs> They were up like 
Drop by drop, add chromic acid, reagent. <laughs> Negative reaction, so this makes it an aldehyde. For each test tube, add two drops of sodium hydroxide solution. I just cannot answer that question. Do you know what is a microdonor? And two mLs of five percent silver nitrate solution. Yes. Until the initial precipitate forms, just dissolves. And due to time, we'll be adding a concentrate ammonia in the head. Add a few drops of the unknown to a tolerance reaction and heat it in a water bath at 80 degrees for up to 10 minutes. Positive test results with mirror-like coating on the walls of the test tube. We'll now add this to the hot water. Then add three molar sodium hydroxide drop by drop until the brown color disappears. After 10 minutes of being in the water bath, a positive test result results with a, with a mirror-like coating on the walls of the test tube. If negative, it indicates a ketone. Aldehyde result, ketone result. Go back to this one. This one is supposed to be a green color, which is the color it's supposed to be. It's like green or green. Now we're going to do the other. It's an aldehyde. So now we're doing other tests now. We'll be adding one drop of this unknown. <laughs> and one ml of acetone. Oh, yeah. Into the test tube. <laughs> one drop of chromic acid agent. Oh my god. <laughs> Orange color indicates that this is a ketone.